Senator, when are you planning to introduce your bill? Uh, before the end of the session. Before the before we go out of recess. So does it really have much of a chance? I mean, because you'll have elections and you are facing these difficult elections, do you think they'll, you'll do well? You know, the there, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. There can be no chance that there's no legislation. The reality is, is that legislation gives us the process, a vehicle, by which to garner support and move forward. And so that's why it's critical. And my hope, my hope is, is that that beginning of being able to really formalize what does comprehensive immigration reform mean, because we will have a clear legislative vehicle, will be a driver of this. And, you know, this session is not going to end at the end of September or early October. It's going to end sometime later this year. So I think we have a lot of opportunity. Have you gotten any, uh, have you had discussions with any Republicans about getting support, Lindsey Graham maybe, and, and would you look at actually doing this in the lame duck session? Yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd be happy. And I've talked to Lindsey at different times, not just specifically about this piece of legislation that I'll be introducing, but in general. And look, the elections make for a difficult context to uh, be able to get people to focus on this. Uh, but it is my hope that clearly after the elections uh, that we will amass support before the elections and that we can seek to galvanize it after the election. We certainly, certainly what I am going to introduce in the Senate will have plenty of Republican ideas in it and should be enough for them to join us in that effort. I think we extend our hand to anyone who wants to join us in that project. Uh, and we will be, and I certainly would consider any time, including a lame duck, as an opportunity. I'd like you to make this announcement now. Uh, yesterday, Senator Reid was asked if, if his announcement about Dream Act was political. Is your announcement today uh, purely political? Uh, my, um, our announcement today is having met with all the national groups and trying to figure a way forward from where we are today. And so it goes in three parts. It is the DREAM Act so that we can, on what I think is the most basic and uh, uh, powerful message, if you can't be for the DREAM Act, I'm not quite sure what you can be for. Uh, and to give the students who have told us they have report, support from the Republican side. They, we will see how much support they, uh, there is from the Republican side. And that's number one. Number two is to go beyond the framework and go to legislation that can be supported, argued for, and ultimately be a foundation to get support. So we'll never move forward if we don't do that. And then thirdly, to ask the president to consider the powers that he has. So it is a structured strategy. It is a strategy to move from the stagnation that we're in to move forward. So uh, it's, it's not about politics. It's about working with all the national groups who feel and, are, and have bought in with us because they have been part of determining what this process will be to move forward. Well, you, I, you know, I, I'm going to... Uh, I'd like you to make this announcement now. Uh, yesterday, Senator Reid was asked if, if his announcement about DREAM Act was political. Is your announcement today uh, purely political? Uh, my, um, our announcement today is having met with all the national groups and trying to figure a way forward from where we are today. And so it goes in three parts. It is the DREAM Act so that we can, on what I think is the most basic and uh, powerful message. If you can't be for the DREAM Act, I'm not quite sure what you can be for. Uh, and to give the students who have told us they have report, support from the Republican side. They, we will see how much support they, uh, there is from the Republican side. And that's number one. Number two is to go beyond the framework and go to legislation that can be supported, argued for, and ultimately be a foundation to get support. So we'll never move forward if we don't do that. And then thirdly, to ask the president to consider the powers that he has. So it is a structured strategy. It is a strategy to move from the stagnation that we're in to move forward. So uh, it's, it's not about politics. It's about working with all the national groups who feel and, are, and have bought in with us because they have been part of determining what this process will be to move forward. And I, you know, I, I'm going to, uh, if there's